All right, how are you guys doing? Um, hope you had a good trading day today. Uh, I'm just going to go over some trades I made today. I had a green day. It was a solid green day, thanks to NVIDIA. But ultimately, I'm sort of unhappy with the day because there were some trades that were right in my face. I could have made a lot more money on that I just, I just screwed up. But we'll just go uh, through the trades in the order that I took them, and uh, we'll see what comes out. So uh, NVIDIA was the, the big trade on the day. Obviously, it was the big gap down. Uh, in the pre-market because of uh, some forecasts that were going to be disappointing. They pre-announced their forecast for the earnings call. So that's uh, extra negative that they would pre-warn that news. So in the pre-market, it sold off. And I saw it selling off. And uh, I should have or could have gotten in uh, up, up here, uh, right here at this little consolidation in the pre-market. Uh, but I didn't because I just don't generally trade the pre-market. because It's just scary. But with this kind of move... There is so much momentum and fear behind it that it's almost certain to kind of continue. But it's just sort of my little mental policy. I just don't do pre-market trades. I should kind of bring that into my repertoire, but uh, I just haven't yet. So I waited for the open, and I was wanting to see and wait and see what I was going to do. So here at the open, it uh, it did some bouncing around, you know, the buying and the selling, people covering, people trying to get short, trying to figure out what the hell direction the stock was going to go. So just kind of sitting back and patiently waiting. I had these big long upper wicks and lower wicks, upper wicks and lower wicks. And so I'm just I'm sitting here watching it, biding my time. And so there was this pre-market low that I had generated right here, right? So I, I kept that in mind that uh, I was going to try to follow my game plan that I had kind of talked about in previous videos, which is just waiting for confirmation. Again, uh, uh, predicting is totally fine, but I, I want to wait for confirmation more. Uh, so that's what I did. So I waited for this break of this level. So as soon as it broke that pre-market low, I went short, got in short, and I just rode this thing down for the flush. I had no price targets in mind. Obviously, there was these support levels down here on the daily that you can see, but um, I wasn't looking at that. I was just looking at the price action. I was tra uh, purely trading the price action. So uh, I flushed down uh, several points. So is it is that two or three points for my entry? Two points, I think. Yeah, 35, 4 through 3. So two points initially. Got down here, two points. I took some covers. I took a quarter lot off. I mean, a quarter of my position off. And then it sort of was bouncing around here, stalling a little bit. And uh, I do, I wanted to make sure locking my profits. Two points is a lot, right? So I wanted to make sure I hold on to it, held on to it. So as it was kind of stuttering and kind of resisting here a little bit, I took another quarter of my position off. And um, glad I, I held some over and I was being patient because then it took another leg lower for another, was that two points, right? 34, 33, 32. So another two points right there, right? Took my, another quarter lot off. Then it started to bounce, right? You see this bounce back here. And um, I was being strong. I was deciding I was going to hold and wait and see what happens. Uh, again, like an expression I've said in other videos before is wait for a reason to get out, right? So this little bounce right here, that's not a reason to get out, right? Because you still have all these other candles as sort of like resistance lines or, you know, uh, yeah, resistance lines you should wait for. So, uh, it bounced. It, it was a lower high. It did not go as high as this previous candle, right? So uh, I did that. And then the next candle, it just flushed back down. And I decided to, to call it quits there. I wasn't too confident with the price action, how much had flushed down already. I mean, if it hadn't done this giant pre-market flush, I probably would have held later, uh, held longer if this didn't happen, right? But that's such a huge move in the pre-market. That's like so much money gone. So I wasn't too confident that this was going to continue any lower. And plus there was, you know, this, this support here on the daily, not too far away. So I decided to, to, to cover the, my, my last quarter uh, lot, uh, quarter of my position there. So ultimately that was, a, I was very happy with that trade. It was a very solid trade. Now this next trade I took in NVIDIA is what pissed me the F off. I just, I don't know what I was thinking. I just totally screwed the pooch on this one. Right. So let me go and scroll over and zoom in so you can kind of get a better idea of what I was saying. So you see here, I drew this trend line, right? This this downward wedging trend line. And obviously, this is the bottom of the triangle, this wedge. My horrible drawing, sorry. So uh, as it was holding, and it was balancing and holding and finding support and finding you know these bottom wicks, especially that last bottom wick. And it was forming you know higher lows, you know, bottom wick, higher low, higher low right there. So I decided, all right, this is going to bounce. This is going to go back to the view app. It's done the nice period of consolidation. It's breaking this bottom trend line, this wedging uh, trend line. So I'm going to go long. Went long here. And then I just got chickened out. I'm not sure what the hell I was thinking. And I just, you know, I covered here into this first pop, which is okay, fine. I'm not even sure how much that was. I was like, what? Um, 
I'm not going to try to do math right now. I think that was like a, like a dollar or 50 cent. No, no, no. It wasn't a dollar. Anyways. Uh, so yeah, I just I covered into these little pops. It was being very choppy. It wasn't being very strong. It wasn't shooting back up to view app, which like I was hoping. I was hoping for once it broke this consolidation, I was hoping for it to pop, right? But it didn't do that. It was just going to grind and chop higher. Um, but I had the right idea. My entry was solid. I just, I got spooked out. I wanted to hold on to my profits. I don't want to lose any money. I was determined not to lose money at this point. And I was psyching myself out. Right. I had no reason to get out. Right. It didn't go against me. I wasn't in the red. I had no reason to get out. And had I just had some balls and held this right, it ground up higher. See, I would have taken off like some shares here on this pot, probably maybe a little bit more in the view app. But again, if I just held right, look at this, look at this. It just kind of kept going up and up and up and up. So this is I swear like I made money on this trade. But the fact that I screwed up this trade and missed this move. Pissed me off. I was angry. I was not happy with my morning because I screwed up this trade that I was in. Um, this is psychology, man. It's the biggest thing that affects you in, in, in trading. It's to, to come to grips with your own self, right? And to just think logically in the face of, you know, possible failure. It's it's difficult. and you just, It's going to take screen time and lots of experience. So I kind of keep coaching myself on that one. That was NVIDIA. That was my big winning trade of the day from that initial flush down. But... I am still disappointed because I screwed the pooch on the bounce, right? So, uh, what can you do? ABCO was the the penny stock of the day. Uh, let me go ahead and scroll back here so we can see it all together. So, uh, let me just line everything up before I start rambling. All right, here we go. So, it was the penny stock of the day. Obviously, it had this giant run up in previous days and giant crash back downs. And then today, this morning, it was it was popping back up again in pre-market. So um, I have drawn my my trend lines, my resistance lines, pre-market highs, etc. And um, so I was busy trading Nvidia earlier in the morning, as you noticed. So uh, I wasn't paying quite attention to this. When I put my eyes back on it, I sold that it had dumped, sold off. But it was also doing this nice consolidating pattern that I've seen that you that you see in pre, uh, in penny stocks a lot after they sell off, right? So it was doing this consolidating pattern, but you know it was forming lower highs, right? So it was wedging back up. So I knew the momentum was going to come in soon here, and you can look at the volume. Look at these volume bars right here, right? It's increasing volume, getting bigger, getting bigger, getting bigger, right? So seeing that, I was like, okay, this is going to push, right? So I, a very small position size, but penny stocks I don't feel comfortable with, so I took a very small position size considering how cheap the stock is. So um. I went long here for the break of this consolidation and it popped. Some momentum came in, these big volume bars pushing. So I, I just had some limit orders placed in, you know, limit order, limit order at the high of the of the opening candle, limit order hit, hit. And then uh, it was failing and I just took some covers as it came back down and I stopped out the rest there at VWAP. But ultimately, uh, considering how small my position size was and uh, and everything, I made some a decent chunk of change on this and I'm very happy with the trade. You know, I, I saw, I, I was patient, I waited, saw the consolidation, saw the increasing volume, caught the momentum spike before it happened, covered into the top. I, I, I'm very happy with how this trade turned out, right? Um, so that was AVCO. Uh, SQ, let's see, SQ. I don't even remember what I did on SQ. So let's go back here. 30. Where's SQ at? SQ. What did I do on SQ? SQ at? SQ was at uh, 45. It's not showing up. Oh. Where's the trade at? That's weird. It doesn't want to show up here. 150. Anyway, so, sorry. I'm getting distracted. I'm not sure why the trade doesn't want to show up here on this can on this chart. Um, so anyways, yeah, SQ. Uh, it was been going up in recent days, right? So it, it's due for some resistance, especially here. It got it was getting to some resistance, so I wasn't, you know, I wasn't feeling too confident. I was going to keep going higher, right? It needs to have some rest days. So, um, anyways, in the opening, it did. It sold off, and then it pushed back up against view up again. I'm not at this point. I'm not really watching the stock. I'm busy with other things. So when I come back to it, I see it starting to fail, right? It has two big red candles, and here I decide to do some predicting, right? So I predicted the break below VWAP, so I got short. And then I you know, took a, a quarter lot position cover here as it broke down below VWAP. Um, I'm not sure how big that drop is. I'm uh, 40 cents, 50 cents for that first cover. But then it, it was bouncing, and I just decided to stop back out before it uh, went up against me. 
Um, nothing trade. I just made pocket change on it. Uh, but that was that. I'm, I'm happy I, I predicted it. My prediction was right. And um, I like to stop myself up before it goes against me too much. So that's just my trade on SQ. Nothing too crazy. Cat was another uh, screw the pooch trade. Another thing that uh, I made money on. But uh, I was just not too happy with. I really messed it up. So uh, let me go back here. Get everything to focus. There we go. So cat it was the big uh, gap down on the day. Everybody's watching it. It's the popular stock of the morning, besides Nvidia. So big sell off into the support, right? All this, all these support lines, all this mess down here, right? So I wasn't thinking I was going to go too much lower. So that's why I didn't have it mainly on my. It wasn't my main watch. I was really into Nvidia for the Momo play because Nvidia was just a Momo trade. Anyways, so um, after I was done with my first trade on Nvidia, I turned my eyes to Cat. It did this sell off, right? And then I caught its bounce back to View App, right? I was saw it, it was bouncing back to View App. But the key is to look at here on the one minute. Look at this bounce to View App. It is so choppy. It is such a weak bounce to View App, right? So my my experience tells me when you see this weak choppiness, these weak candles, all these wicks up and down, up and down, just just you know, you know, trudging along all the way up to View App. That's a weak bounce, right? So I know seeing that, that that is a for sure rejection off of View App, right? So I did that. It got up to View App. It put in its first red candle. Let me zoom in closer so we can get a better look at it here. So it, it got up to View App. And on the start of this candle, as I saw the first bit of red, I went short. So boom, went short there. And um, it started to flush down. It started to give me some, uh, some confirmation of my idea, right? So I just started covering, covering. And this is the part that pisses me the f off uh, it did a bounce off the off, off the 20 right which is something that happens right stocks don't go perfectly down or perfectly up so and i don't know what the hell i was doing it didn't get near my entry right my entry's up here it didn't get near my entry i just i was so in the money on nvidia that my psychology was messed up in the sense that i didn't want to give any money back right i didn't want to lose any money i didn't want to have a losing, tra a losing trade i want to be green all morning all day so i stopped myself out for some dumbass reason, and it was just a small consolidation bounce, right? And as soon as I got out, whap, it continued lower, it flushed down lower. So I missed this move, which I would have covered some shares at. Then I missed this move, which I would have covered some shares at down here. So I just really screwed the pooch on that one. That was a good, you know, point. I could have made a point on this one, right? My entry was solid above 126. I would have covered into 125 because this is this, this consolidation down here and these wicks. I screwed the pooch on cat. So uh, not as bad as the NVIDIA screw up, but it was a perfect trade. I took it perfectly, rejection of VWAP, and I just I screwed it up. My psychology got in the way. And uh, it's a weird psychology mess up that was screwing with my head because it was the psychology of wanting to keep my green day green and not wanting to lose, to want to be perfect, right? But you're not going to be perfect. You are going to have messed up trades, but I was just... I just don't want to lose any money. I don't want to have a losing trade. So I stopped myself out before I should have. Well before I should have. And I missed a good chunk of money on the trade. Um, so that was my day today. All green trades. All winning trades. Made good money for my account size today. And um, so overall I'm happy about that. But uh, the nature of trading, man. You want to be perfect. So those missed opportunities really get to you. And they got to me. So all you can do is uh, experience them. Try to remember them. And try to grow from them. Um, so that's my summary for the day today, you guys. Uh, please, if you enjoy the content, if you like my videos, like, subscribe, comment, give me some feedback. Tell me how you think I'm an idiot, how I screwed up. Um, it helps encourage me to keep making these videos. So uh, thanks for watching. Bye.